Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I am making this video to show you how to get uh, a pre-approval with no hard inquiry pull for a visa up to $5,000. So we're gonna jump right into this information, especially for those who are trying to rebuild credit and trying to improve their credit score. Now, one thing I want you to always keep in mind, this is what we're going to employ is doing what a technique that's called the shopping cart trick. Now, when you're doing the shopping cart trick, it's very important that you register yourself to certain websites so you can get this pre-approval. I have a link up top to the video showing you steps on how to make sure you register with Factor Trust and opt-in pre-screen. So the video in the top of the link will show you the steps to do that in order for you to receive the pre-approval without a hard inquiry pull. Now, another important thing you have to make sure that you are in Google Chrome and you're doing this in the incognito screen. You wanna also make sure that your computer is set here in settings, and then you will go to site settings and make sure that your pop-ups are allowed. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Make sure if you're new, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So this is a website called sportsmanguide.com. Now, what you wanna do is make sure that you find some items. And I suggest if you're going to this website, if you're putting things in your um, shopping cart, you don't want to get ammo and guns, try to stick to clothing. Now, what you want to make sure is when you are getting clothing, you wanna get items that is going to be at least over a combined of $250. So let's look what we can get. How about work boots? This will probably be a higher ticket item. And let's see here. Okay. Now, what well, we are looking for a higher ticket item. So let's look at this boot here, work boot here. It's $174. Now, what you want to also do when you have a high ticket item here in order to get to that $250, you can simply add more than one item to your cart. Now, when you add these items to your cart, you are not going to buy them technically you just want yourself to get the pop-up. So once you make sure, like here, we have well over the $250, we have $349.98, you can proceed to the checkout. Now, once you click and proceed to the checkout, you wanna check out as a guest. Now, this is the part that's very, very important, you guys. When you are entering in your information here, you want to make, you, make sure you enter in the information exactly how you registered it to those other websites. So you wanna make sure you begin to enter in your information, your address, exactly how you have done that prior and I am blocking out my information here. Um, but you wanna make sure you take your time and enter your information slowly and make sure your information is there. And once you enter in your information, what is gonna happen is you wanna review it. And when you go to factor trust 
an opt-in pre-screen, it will give you a receipt. You want to make sure that the information you entered there, that you are using the same email address. That is very important. So once you enter your information here, you have your item, you make sure your email address matches the one that you use for those websites, you want to click the continue button. Now, once you click the continue button, what is going to happen is you're going to get a pop-up if you are pre-approved that will say, congratulations, you're approved. And it will show you the amount of the card that you are approved for. And it will show you your card here. So this is a way that you can start to build credit and get pre-approvals by employing this trick. And this will be an actual visa. This would not just be exclusively for this website. You can rent a car. You can do a number of things and uh, with this Visa card, but you wanna make sure that you do not wanna use, if you're trying to build and manage cr uh, credit, make sure your utilization on the card does not go over 29%. Um, optimally, you wanna keep it between one and 10% to help improve your credit score. So I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it in the comment section of the video and I will get back to you guys. I hope this is helpful and enjoy your day.